welcome to Amazing Art, History and Culture. Today we will look at Peter Paul Rubens. Peter Paul Rubens, this is his self-portrait from 1639. He was born in 1577 and died in 1640. I am and will always be amazed by this artist. Rubens was a Flemish artist considered as one of the greatest exponents of the Baroque era. Best known for his mythological, allegorical, historical and religious paintings and his contribution to Catholic art. His style was promoted as counter-reformation. A prolific designer of cartoons and a creator of over 1,400 pieces of art. This is The Descent from the Cross from 1612. It's part of a triptych, which means it's three pieces. This is a painting Rubens did called The Massacre of the Innocents. It was sold in 2002 for the price of $76.2 million to Lord Thompson. It can also be seen at the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam. At the time of Rubens' first painting on the subject, Antwerp had been involved in warfare frozen by a truce in 1609. 8,000 citizens were killed by Calvinists and Catholics as the Spanish forces ruling the Netherlands sought to repel Protestant armies. Massacres were sadly a reality in Antwerp. Prince Moritz commissioned Cornelius van Harlem to paint the same scene for Harlem's town hall to tell of the Spanish atrocities against the Dutch people while Antwerp remained Catholic and became a leading centre of counter-reformation thought. Rubens also carried out diplomatic missions and made negotiations during the Eighty Years' War from 1568 to 1648 to overlap his artistic duties with diplomatic ones. This last Rubens painting was sold for $1.46 million after being rediscovered due to an inheritance, said the French auctioneer. The painting depicts St. Margaret holding a cross in her hand while crushing a dragon at her feet. It was painted in 1620. Rubens was a versatile intellectual. Even though he is best known as a painter, he was also a polyglot, an art theorist, and a connoisseur of architecture. His deep knowledge of classical literature and the Bible he applied in his artworks. This is a double portrait he created called the Honeysuckle Bower and it depicts himself and his wife Isabella Brandt. He painted it in celebration of their marriage. See the amazing details. His apprenticeship began at age 14. He collected artworks by Italian masters he admired. Etienne, Tintoretto and Veronese. His collection was kept in a cabinet he designed and made himself. Notice the fine details of this painting. This is a portrait of a young woman with a rosary painted in 1609. It's oil on wood and can be seen at this museum. Most of his work was commissioned by word of mouth and he was also known as a painter of the princes. During 1610 to 1611, Rubens painted two of his greatest triptychs, the elevation of the cross and the descent from the cross. In the final ten years of his life, his wife Helen bore Rubens' five children. Played by gout and arthritis, Rubens became rather frail, yet he continued to work. He died from heart failure in 1614 and worked while busy with an art project for Philip IV in Madrid. Thank you. I hope you enjoy amazing art, history and culture as much as I do.